On 10, we're hearing from a police officer in Edenton who saved more than a dozen people from a restaurant after a potentially deadly gas leak. Doctors treated 15 people for carbon monoxide poisoning after that leak Wednesday at Leon Nixon Catering. Then at your size, Joe Fisher's here now with this follow up. And Joe, the officer who evacuated the building is being called a hero. Yeah, Tom, the fire chief says the carbon monoxide levels inside the business were high enough to kill somebody. Luckily, Corporal Gerald Lassiter stepped in before any lives were lost. The job comes with no promises. Every call we go on is different. It's never the same thing, even if it's with the same people. On Wednesday morning in Edenton. The day started out normal. Corporal Gerald Lassiter responded to Nixon Catering on Virginia Road. A man fell ill and needed assistance. Probably a few minutes later, we got another call to Nixon's Catering for a lady with chest pain, which struck I mean, it's kind of odd. Shortly after, a third call. There was definitely something that was not right. This time at a barber shop downtown. The call came as somebody possibly having a seizure. It turned out the man getting his hair cut inside had just gotten off work at Nixon Catering. Concerned, Lassiter rushed back to the business and evacuated 13 people, including a toddler and an eight-year-old girl. It proved to be no easy task. While I was talking to them, explaining to them that we needed to get out of the building, it's like, Nothing that I said registered. They just looked at me and kind of just walked around like they were spaced out. Disoriented, confused, some unable to stand. Fire Chief Craig Fourline says they were experiencing symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning. It's odorless, tasteless, colorless, can't be detected except with a monitor. Lassiter's police work likely saved lives, he says. The chief and those in town are calling him a hero. I, I appreciate that compliment more than anything. But, you know, it's just, it's what we are, it's, it's who we are, it's what we do, and, and we do it because we love it, and we love helping people. And everyone treated for carbon monoxide poisoning has been released from the hospital. The fire chief says a break in a hot water heater was leaking the gas into the air conditioning system. He says it's not a requirement to have a carbon monoxide detector, but he reminds homeowners and businesses that it's a cheap safeguard to protect your life and your property. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.